What's going on guys? My name is Laddie Dog and welcome back to another Laddie Dog tutorial on 7 Days to Die. Today we're going to be learning how to make Forge Steel. Forge Steel got changed from Alpha 15 to Alpha 16 in a big way. And I want to walk you through it slowly to make sure you are able to do it. Forge Steel is important because you need it for a lot of things in the game. One of them is to craft Forge Steel tools like this. The steel pickaxe, steel axe, I mean you even need it for the wrench, so anything you, that's going to help you late game to harvest the most materials. Besides the tools, you can also use it for upgrading reinforced concrete. When you upgrade reinforced concrete to steel, it gets more hit points and it lasts a little longer. So against horde knights especially, it'll be very useful. It's just expensive to kind of do that route. But that's not what it's about today. We're going to get into how to do it, so let's get started. Alright guys, so now we're in my little forge hut we'll call it where I'm gonna make the forge steel first you're gonna need a forge which I have here and if you don't know how to make that I'm gonna pop up and display I've already made a video on it of what you need to craft it and I'll put it up there for you now but in the forge you're gonna need to be smelting down raw iron and clay so just keep that in mind next you're gonna need to be able to reach level 40 overall you need level 40 because tool smithing level 6 requires that so let's get the tool smithing level 6 go into our things here tool smithing you can see down here what it requires, and level for six, boom. All right, next, we need to get a level, weapon smithing to level four. So let's do that. We already have it at level six, so that's awesome. And last but not least, we need science at level three. So let's hit that one up as well. All right, so that is the first step. You do that, make sure you have enough points to do all that. Next. You need to find the steel smithing perk itself, and it costs 15 points. So when you hit level 40, after you have all that stuff purchased, make sure you have 15 points. See, it tells you the requirements. Soul smithing 6, weapon smithing 4, science 3. What do you learn from this? You learn the crucible, which you need for force seal. Force seal itself, that's cool. And springs. Let's buy that, one for one. And out 15, there used to be three tiers for steel smithing, but I think they just took that out completely. So this is what we got here. Next. We need to find, make workbench. Uh, so, I mean, you can disassemble it if you have a land claim, you know, pick it up from a garage, or you can just overall, if you want to, you can just get that, depending how much you want to use it. Put this in here real quick. Workbench, plus 10 points. What do I need? Construction tools, 15. Oh, interesting. Let's do that real quick. And this will level up as you go using the hammer normally, not hammer, <laughs> the hammer will work as well, claw hammer, wrench, or stone axe, levels up construction tools overall, just upgrading, using it, anything. But so that normally go up, I just have everything zeroed out for the sake of this video, and I'm in, on a creative mode, so that's why all my stats are low. So, let's go back to a workbench, now I can purchase it, it's 10 points, so, so you craft your workbench. So now we go in our workbench and we need to create a crucible. And we need a couple things for that. We need forged iron, which is made in the forge. Mechanical parts you just get from breaking down stuff. Small stone, you need 1200 of it. And lump clay, you need 900. It's an expensive piece. It's meant to be late game and that's why it is so expensive. And when I say late game, I think it's accomplishable anywhere from the 14 day hoard to the 21 day hoard overall. So we'll craft that. Take some time, as you see, 17 minutes. But I made one ahead of time. So we got the crucible now. So now we've made our crucible in the workbench. We put the crucible in the forge to make steel. So, see, space up top. Let's click that bad boy in. Check mark forge steel. Turn that as many as you can. Start crafting it. Boom. That is it. That's how you make forge steel, guys. Hope you learned something today. If you guys did, hit a thumbs up for me. If you guys learned about seven day tutorials, the seven day material, hit that subscribe button. It helps me a lot. And I'll be making more videos on it. So, until next time, guys, my name's Lighted Dog, and I'll catch you later.